like Madden. You love making the Madden analogies. When you run the same play over and over and over again, someone is going to realize, I think I know how to stop that. Yeah. And there's great videos of not only Nissick, but uh, Alex Pereira, who Sean Strickland went to train with for a couple days, yep. of Alex Pereira telling him, like, yo, when he does this, his like, natural reaction is to drop your hand, throw the cross. Like, no, keep your left arm up, roll with it, then step into the punch. Well, lo and behold, Sean Strickland is like back against the cage. If I pressure him, I know the combo coming at me. Alex Pereira was actually able to hit Israel Adesanya the second time, but it glanced this time. Izzy caught him with the, you know, the right hand, knocked him out. Cool. First time he knocked Izzy out with the same thing. Pereira was like, I know what to do. When you get him in this position, do this. Lo and behold, Izzy's back's against the cage. Sean Strickland sees this, pressures, waits for Izzy to lean back, throw the left, right hand right down the pipe. This was one of the worst performances by a high-level fighter I've ever seen. Because, like, one of the biggest misconceptions in a, in a fight for most fighters is, like, when you lose, you get exposed, right? It's not always true. Shit happens. Like, people are like, Deontay Wilder got exposed. No, he got beat. There's a difference, right? Israel Asanya got exposed. And the way he got exposed was, is, is really simple, but a lot of fighters can't do it because they're not disciplined enough. Yeah. It's don't give them anything. Like, if you go back and watch the Euro Romero fight, Izzy nearly got his head knocked off in, like, the first round. And from that point on, Romero didn't take any chances, and he just allowed Israel to pluck at him, right? But what Romero didn't do was press forward. He just stood there in front of him. He, you know, Izzy throws his feints, tries to get you to overcommit, and then he takes advantage. Strickland didn't make any mistakes. He moved forward, which Adesanya isn't great moving backwards. He's, Adesanya is a, not a good offensive-minded kickboxer. Like, if you ask him to initiate the offense, he doesn't know how to do it. He initiates it by, like, throwing a leg kick and waiting for you to react. Yeah. Or throwing a jab and waiting for you to react. Strickland beat, had an answer for every leg kick. Yeah, he, he checked the leg, leg kicks. Kick. Um, yeah, he like checked them immediately. And Adesanya was like, oh, well, maybe that won't work. I'm going to wait for him to make a mistake. Sean didn't make any mistakes. And it was crazy because... It's like, this is the guy that fought Alice Perea and just was like, fuck it, and then got knocked out, right? That's what I thought he'd eventually do. But he stayed in the same mode where he didn't make any mistakes, he looked for his openings, and if he would throw a punch, he would, he would bring his hands back very quickly, and then he'd keep advancing. Adesanya had no idea what to do with this because he's that fight. Like, Anderson Silva was very similar, but Anderson Silva was good on offense if he needed to be, Yeah. right? Like, there were bad fights, the Talos Ladies fight, the Demi Amaya fight, but... If you sat around and waited too long, he'd kick you in the face like he did Vitor Belfort, right? Like, he, he didn't wait for a mistake. He'd just take advantage of you. Adesanya does it. Robert Whitaker made a mistake. Paulo Costa came at him, made a mistake. Al Spreya came at him, made a mistake. Sean Strickland didn't come at him. Yeah. He got, he, got, he got beat at his own game by not having an, an advanced strategy of my whole game plan is waiting for him to make a mistake, and then when he doesn't make one, you go, well, shit. You could see it in like the fourth round. Adesanya was like, my jab's not working. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Coach Barrowman was like, all right, well. And he's like looking at him like, well, I don't know what the fuck to tell you because you got to do something. I don't he, think he had the wherewithal at that point no, to do something. He was, he was checked out of the fight. Yeah. It, was, it was, again, bad game of Madden. Somebody's running it down your throat and there's nothing you can do about it. Right? They're just running it down your throat. And it, not big gains. Not big chunk gains, three, four yards. Every, I'm going to get a first down. You give me four yards of carry, I'm going to get a first down. All right, we'll stop it. I can't. I can't stop it. And that's exactly what happened for every minute of the fight. 